Taking that bitch in the spot. Ooh. Oh, bitch. Ooh. All these hoes in my. Hello little buddy, this is Pixie and today's video I'm gonna show how to make this flying money vortex effect instead of After Effects and Vegas Pro. So like I said, you'll need After Effects and Vegas Pro installed, so make sure you got that before you start with the video. Anyways, if this video helps you out, make sure to subscribe and let's get straight into the video. So now we're gonna talk about the fixes before we actually start with the tutorial. What you wanna do is go down the description and install QuickTime. Once installed QuickTime, what you wanna do is go to Vegas Pro go to options make sure quant size to frames is checked go to preferences go to deprecated features make sure enable quicktime plugin is you know checked then go to video and then gpu acceleration over here make sure this is off then click apply click ok and then go to your project settings so click on this cog wheel over here you know make sure your frame rate is set to 60 fps then go to ruler and copy these settings and once you copy those settings, go back to video, save your project over here, and then click apply, click OK, and then restart Vegas Pro. Okay, so now what I'm gonna show you is how to do the, you know, sort of velocity. And here we have a clip, so you wanna cut it when the guy stops editing, so he stops editing over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split over here, then go to video effects and search for Twixter Pro. So here we have Twixter Pro. I'm gonna drag the default one onto the video just like that then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go 50 frames forward so double click here backspace plus 50 click m to mark it just like that so over here on the first frame uh, click animate and then go three frames to the right one two three and set that to 50 just like that then go on the marker and just over here add a keyframe then go five frames to the left one two three four five and add a marker over here go back over here and then go five frames to the right one two three four five and then add a marker just like that now make this marker to slow fade make this one to fast fade and if you don't know how to do that just right click on it then you can you know select slow fade anyways we have this uh, then what you want to do is go on the kill and set the speed percentage to something like 350 to start it off and then over here where it says mean background motion sensitivity Every time you change a value, you want to change this by 0.10. So what I mean is like right now it's 70 and we're going to change this by, you know, 0.10. Just like that. So we're not on the kill yet, but what we can do is change it to some like 450 or even 500. And boom, we're on the kill. I'm just going to change this to 17.2 now. And yep, we're on the kill. So if you're not on the kill, what you can do is change some stuff up. So we're here, before the kill where it says 50, you can try changing this to 10. And what you can also try doing, if it's still too fast, what you can do is go somewhere around here and then set this to 10. And then of course update the frames. And that's how you do the slow motion. So you always gotta test it out and yeah, just keep updating the frames. So yeah, just keep on messing with the Twixter settings until your slow motion is synced to the marker. Now, what you can do with this clip is actually render it out, so make sure you know it's long enough after the kill just like that. Highlight over the whole clip, go to File, and go to Render As, and then you know, select your template, and make sure width and height matches your project width and height, and make sure FPS is also matching. So click OK, name this whatever you want, and click on Render. And here is the rendered file of Twixter Pro. So now there's a few options you can do. You can either mask this out in Sarah Vegas Pro or you can use the Roto Brush tool in Sarah After Effects to do the masking as well. Now I'm gonna show you how to mask it out in Vegas Pro first and then I'm gonna show you how to mask it out in After Effects later. So what you wanna do of course is you wanna go to the first frame and then you wanna know how many frames you're gonna mask. So you know the Twixter we did 50 frames. So you would go you know at the start you would go 50 frames forward and then you will know just cut it and erase this so this is how much frames you would you know mask and you know you would go to the first frame you will go to parent crop on this button you would make sure to enable masking over here and then we'll go to the first frame grab the anchor creation tool which is you know this one and then it would mask out around the skin so let's see for example this is the mask and as you can see you know here's the mask and now let's say you want to render this and make it transparent because if you render it you know in mp4 it's not gonna work so you want to make sure this is transparent and how you would do that is you would you know highlight over the thing so this whole thing 
you would go to file, you would go to render as, and then you would click on QuickTime. So, you know, make sure you have no filters on and make sure you click on QuickTime. Then you want to click any of these templates and then you want to copy this thing. So, of course, width and height must match your project width and height. For me, it's 2560 by 1440. FPS is 60. You know, video format, compressed depth, quality. Uh, copy all of this keyframe every 60 frames over here audio streaming project and copy all of these settings then save them for later so you know name it whatever you want click ok and then name this whatever you want over here and click render and this will render out a .mov file which can be actually turned into transparency and that's why we're doing this so if you are masking in vegas pro make sure to do this but now i'm gonna show how to mask and sort of after effects so here I am in After Effects and you know what you would do is click on New Project and then you know New Composition and Width and Height is supposed to match your rendered you know mask file so here is the you know Twixter clip I masked and the Width and Height is 2560 so I would copy that and I would also copy the frame rate so you know 2560 by 1440 FPS is 60 and make sure resolution is set to full over here then you want to click OK and that is it. Then drag your render clip in the start of After Effects, just like that. And drag it to your timeline over here. So here we have the whole thing. And you want to make sure you know how, my, how many frames you're actually you know, uh, rendering or masking, whatever. So over here it says how many frames there are. You want to just go to the 50th frame. And then you want to just split it if you, you know, haven't already. And delete this part. So this is how many frames we would mask. So what you would do is go over here and then you would go to this tool. So as you can see Roto Brush, you would click on this and then you would just double click on the video. And what this would do is bring this, you know, sort of thing, a new layer. And as you can see, you have a brush tool. So if you hold Alt, you will, it will turn red. And if you, you know, release Alt, this will turn green again. So what you want to do is just draw over the skin. So just like that, you want to draw over the skin. So here I have the roto brush mask done and as you can see this is how it looks like now as you can see I skipped the first 7 frames by accident but what this should do is actually mask it out automatically for you and then you can just go you know page down or page up and then go frame by frame and check how the mask looks like of course you can you know adjust it if you hold alt you can delete the mask as you can see it started masking this so I can hold alt and I can you know delete this part and boom just like that you know it fixed itself up and then just repeat the process so you can you know click page down and then go frame by frame or you can just press space and it, then you know it will automatically start you know masking out everything for you and here's how the 50 frames look like and you know it looks pretty smooth so then what you would do is of course mess with the feather, feather settings so normally you want it to be at sort of like you know from 10 to 15 that it smoothens out the edges and then you know reduce chatter when i make the sum like 30 and this will remove you know the weird edges or whatever and you know once you got all of the settings ready you like the roto brush you would click on freeze over here and this will just freeze all of the frames that are masked and here is a mask and as you can see it has done freezing it so here's how it looks like so if you go back to composition you can actually see the mask and you know it's not perfect but th that should do the job so what you would do is you would you know use this and zoom out completely then at the end you should see this and this is like you know the render zone so how many frames is gonna render so you would put it you know over here when it stops masking so for me it stopped masking on this frame and as you can see that's 50 frames so make sure this is you know at 50 frames or whatever and that should be fine so here's how it looks like and everything is fine so let's see when i render it well that is easy you know you highlight everything you go to composition you click on add to render queue and then you want to copy these settings so render settings these are my settings so you want to copy them uh, you know copy these settings and then output module this is important so click on this and then format change this to quicktime because if you don't change it to quicktime the file size will be huge so you know quicktime is really good then the channels make sure it's rgb plus alpha just like that and then audio we don't need any audio so we're gonna just you know turn it off and that is it then you want to click ok then you know output to so this is where, where it's gonna render to you want to click on this and then pick you know where it's gonna render so i'm gonna you know render to my other file location i'm gonna name this a render for video i'm gonna click save and i'm gonna click on render 
and boom the render is finished and that is it so if you have any issues with the render then you know just make sure to you know go back to your composition and then do the same thing and then you know the render should work anyways now we can move on to the main part of the video which is the google drive files so here is what you will find in the google drive so all of these files you know will be in the google drive so make sure to get them so the first thing we have is you no know, plugin required this will show the plugins required then of course the vegas presets vegas files over here and finally ae files so the first thing you want to do is download after effects files folder out of you know the cool drive and then you know just download it so here is the folder and here is you know uh, the project file with all of the files in it so make sure that you get this and then you want to open the project file over here and once you open up the after effects project file you should see this now make sure you're on, on default over here so click on default and this is what you will see now as you can see it is a different clip and maybe some of you might not even see the clip which is okay and now what i'm going to show you is how to replace the clip so if we go over here make sure you know you're on project and not effect control so yeah click on project and then you want to go to the top one so where it says twixter over here you want to click on this one then right click on it click replace footage and then click on file and now search for the file or you know the mask that you rendered so my mask uh, file is over here so i'm gonna place it with this one i'm gonna click on this one click import and as you can see what this will do is actually replace the clip so now we have this clip with all the money around so that is pretty cool and that's how i do it now let's say you want to customize it a bit so you know make sure you click on this one click on effect controls up top and this is what you will see so first thing we have is birth rate so how many dollars is there gonna you know spawn so i like to keep it at 0 0.6 and that looks decent um, then we have the position of course so you want to move it to the right or left you can do that and of course up and you know down and then next up we have the physics so velocity is how fast it will go uh, this speed is really good but in case you want to increase it you know just bump it up like that and then the dollars will like you know spin faster so that's how you do it of course we have gravity so this will like go down or up you know when the money appears or whatever then if we go to particle tab over here so just you know extend this if you haven't already we have all of this but then you know also extend texture and this is where you can actually change the texture of the dollar so let's say you want it to be something different not a dollar uh, here where it says texture layer you can actually change it so i have put like a red rose and a gold block you can test with but let's say you want to put your own texture in, in here what you want to do is just download png image and drag it over here and once you dragged it into this you know thing just like i did you want to go where it says texture layer and then select you know your png file that you dragged in but let's say you want to replace it with roses as you can see we have roses and you also have gold bars so yeah here we have gold bar so you can basically change it to whatever you want which i think is really cool but i'm gonna keep it at dollars since that is you know the main purpose of the video so you want to make sure the render zone you know is the same length as your clip so here is the render zone and this is how you know much is gonna render so you want to make sure it renders the same amount you know over here so this is how much it will render and that is good then to render it to go to composition and then click on add to render queue just like that and this should pop up so on render settings i'm gonna click here uh, these are my render settings i use and you might want to copy them then we have the output mo module so this is really important you want to click on this lossless and change the format to quicktime and then channels make sure it's rgb plus alpha and if it's not it's not gonna be transparent so click on that and then we don't need audio so i'm gonna change this to off and that's basically it so then if we click over here we can change the destination it's gonna you know go to so i'm gonna name this uh i guess video render money and i'm gonna click save so i know it's gonna save in this folder so i'm gonna click save and the final thing you want to do is uh, go over here and click render and once the render is finished we can move on to the google drive okay so we're back on the google drive and of course make sure to install vegas presets and make sure to install the vegas files folder so uh, we have the sound effects the two clips and that is it so now since you know how to do that effect all you have to do is apply it into vegas pro which i'm going to show you how to do that 
Now this is the clip I have, you know, fully rendered and for you, if you use your clip, uh, then you know, you're, you're gonna have your slow motion over here, but I have it you now in a whole clip. So, you know, just keep in mind that you still need, you know, your Twixter clip. Anyways, now I'm gonna drag in my rendered file just like that and if you cannot drag that file in i have a video in my discord server so make sure to join my discord server and go to the fixes channel if you cannot open or you know move this moe file anyways here is the file so of course you want to right click on it click on properties go to media and make sure alpha challenge set to pre multiply dirty click ok and here we have you know our render so i'm gonna make a new video check and what I need to do is actually sync it up. So I need to go somewhere around here and just you now sync it up with the video. And boom, it is synced up. As you can see, everything is fine. Here is the kill. So that is basically it. Now what I want you to do is go over here and you know, where, where, where your mask starts basically. And then go 10 frames back, minus 10. And you wanna mark this and actually split it as well, just like that. So you can either, you know, render this whole thing out and that is it or you can actually customize this so i have actually added a preset which is psycho stripes on mask so if we drag that onto the mask it will look like this but then you want to make a new video check and then you want to copy this mask Control c Control v and then disable all of the effects from this one so as you can see it will make a sort of outline just like this and i think it looks really cool so you know you can customize it a lot you can maybe add, add drop shadow to the mask and you can do so much stuff but once you're done with everything just like this uh, you know you want to render the whole clip out so remember 10 frames back from the mask start and from over here i'm gonna render this whole thing out just like that and i'm gonna go to file click on render as then i'm gonna make sure my width and height matches my project width and height because if it doesn't match then it's actually bad it's gonna you know go a different place and mask is gonna mess up so make sure this is matching and then click ok you want to name this whatever you want and then click on render and once the render is finished uh, you can take this and drag it over here and then delete these files because we don't need them anymore so we're gonna drag this over here and this is how it looks like now the final thing we're gonna do is apply the impact uh, preset it's gonna find the kill i'm gonna go here go 60 frames forward i'm gonna mark this and i know this is the kill so i'm gonna apply the vortex impact onto this clip as you can see with all the impacts and everything so the final thing we're gonna do is apply the sound effect and here are the two sound effects i've linked so let's start with the dust swoosh uh, whoosh so i'm gonna make it like this and here's how it looks like i'm gonna fade this out and maybe fade this in and i want this to be sort of you know a build up swoosh so yeah i, I think that sounds fine and that is good then we have spaz headshot sound effect so i'm gonna place it over here lower this maybe a bit and now we can see how that sounds like and that is it so that is the end of the video if you enjoyed this effect make sure to drop a like also subscribe for more tutorials anyways this was pixie i'm out